Hello! In this tutorial we will look at uh, question number one from December 2012 paper which examines uh, break-even analysis. In your reading time you will have 15 minutes to analyze your question. So start uh, to analyze the question by reading the requirements first. It has four requirements and it starts with uh, calculate contribution to sales ratio, which is a simple formula. Calculate break-even sales revenues point. Again, a simple use of formula. And then in requirement C, on the graph paper, draw a profit volume chart. And we have two options here where we need to do one graph where we sell the products in order of uh, their high, highest ranking contribution to sales ratio and in part II drawing as if it was a constant mix. In requirement D briefly comment on your findings so you need to have first your graph. What is the formula for contribution to sales ratio? Well it's a contribution over sales and we will calculate it in total, not per unit. What is the formula for break-even sales revenue? Well, it is fixed costs over contribution to sales ratio, which you calculated in part A. In part C, you need to draw a profit volume chart, so it will have two axes. Uh, on one, you will have profit, and on the other one, volume. So here we will put profit and uh, here we will put uh, volume which will be represented by dollars of sales. If you don't sell anything you will still have some fixed costs. That means that uh, with zero sales you will have negative profit. As you start to sell some products you would start the one which has the highest uh, contribution to sales ratio and then you would sell the next one with the next uh, highest contribution to sales ratio and the next one and so on. Only in ideal world the salesperson could determine the order of the sales. In real world sales depend on customers demand. For example when I buy yogurt for my family I like blueberry, my two boys vanilla and my wife strawberry flavor. So for each blueberry yogurt, I buy two vanilla yogurts and one strawberry yogurt. If I buy yogurt for five days, uh, I buy more of each, but uh, the proportion stays constant, one to two to one. This is called constant mix. In a graph, it is represented by a single line in red, because I don't buy each product separately, but every time I go to the shop, I buy the constant mix of my yogurts. On the graph, you can see two break even points. One is red for the constant mix, and one is blue. That's when you can sell the most profitable product first. Let's read the details of the question. Hairco manufactures three types of uh, goods uh, C, S, and D. We have some budgeted uh, sales prices and volumes. By multiplying price times volume, we get the total sales for our contribution to sales ratio. So the next what we need is uh, contribution. Each product is made of using uh, different mix of the same materials and labor. It uses new revolutionary technology for which the company obtained a 10-year patent uh, two years ago. The budgeted sales volumes for all the products have been calculated by adding 10% to the last year's sales. Do we need to do anything with this 10%? Well, it has been already included in the unit, so uh, that's just uh, redundant information. The standard cost card for uh, each product is shown below. And what we have is material 1, 2, labor, skilled and unskilled. Both of the labor costs are variable. So based on this, we can calculate our contribution. What we need to do is, we need to add up the costs. These are variable costs. And subtract from the selling price. And we get the contribution. 
The general fixed overheads are expected to be 640,000. That will be needed for your calculation of uh, break-even revenue. As you answer the question, clearly indicate which part you are working on. So this is question part A. And what we need to calculate is uh, contribution to sales ratio. So we will need contribution and sales. We'll need that for all three products, C, S, D, but we will need that also for the total. Contribution, as we know, is selling price less variable costs. Sales are selling price times quantity. For product C, this means 110 times 20,000 units. That equals 2 million 200,000. Similarly for product S, it will come to 3,520,000. And for product D, it comes to 3,120,000. Overall, sales equal 8,840,000. Contribution per one unit of product C can be calculated as selling price less variable costs. Selling price is 110. Variable costs equal 12 plus 8 plus 16 plus 14, which equals $50. And therefore contribution per unit is $60. Total contribution for product C is $60 times quantity 20,000 units. That will come to 1,200,000. Similarly, you can calculate uh, total contribution for product S, which comes to 1,232,000. And for product D, which comes to 728,000. Total contribution equals 3,160,000. Now to calculate contribution to sales ratio, we need to divide contribution by the sales. That will be 35%, 75 as they wanted it to two decimal places. In part B, we need to calculate uh, break-even revenue point, and we will need contribution to sales ratio, which we calculated in part A. So let's indicate that we are working on part B, and let's write down the formula. Break-even revenue equal fixed cost divided by contribution to sales ratio. Fixed cost directly from the requirement, 640,000 divided by 0 0.3575 equals 1,790,209.79 dollars. In part C we need to draw a graph. For that uh, start with the axis and I would suggest to start with double I requirement. So drawing this red line, because to draw a line you need two points and you have them. Uh, you have the point for fixed costs and zero sales and zero profit and break even sales, which you calculated in part B. On the graph paper indicates the question you are answering and let's plot the axis please try to use ruler and don't forget to bring it to the exam so that your graph looks professional next we need to put appropriate measure on our graph in part a we calculated that our total sales will be 8.8 .8 million and break even sales will be 1.8 million approx uh, regarding the profit axis we see that the uh, Profit will go from minus 640,000 up to, well, this is contribution, 3.1 million. So after subtracting the fixed costs, we will get the profit, which is about 2.5 million. I suggest that one square will represent $200,000.
let's draw the first point of fixed costs first on uh, profit axis and then uh, break even point for constant uh, mix uh, of 1,790,000 on sales axis and now we can connect the two points and we have that line. In requirement CI we need to draw the kinked blue line and for that first we need to rank the contribution sales ratios for each product and then we need to calculate the coordinates of these three points. First we need to rank the products uh, and we will use contribution to sales ratio uh, in order to rank them. So contribution to sales ratio for product C can be calculated by dividing contribution of C divided by sales of C, uh, which uh, comes to 55% uh, approximately. Then for S, similarly we divide contribution for S divided by the sales and we get 35%. Uh, and for the 23 percent we would start to sell the one which has the highest then second highest and then the third highest coordinates will be cumulative sales and cumulative profit and i will put the figures uh, in uh, thousands the line will start in point zero where you have zero sales and uh, cumulative profit is uh, loss, which is uh, your fixed costs, 640,000. We will first start with product C, as it has the highest contribution to sales ratio of uh, 55%. And we know from part A that it generates sales of uh, 2,200,000 and contribution of 1,200,000 which will give me the cumulative sales of 2,200,000 and cumulative profit of 560,000 and that gives me the first point on my line. We will then sell product S which has the second highest uh, contribution to sales ratio and it generates sales of uh, 3,520,000 thousand and uh, contribution of one million two hundred and thirty two thousand that will give me the cumulative sales of uh, five million seven hundred and twenty thousand and cumulative profit of uh, one million seven hundred ninety two thousand and that will give me the second point on my graph as the last, we would sell the product D, which would uh, give us uh, the point 3 in our line with cumulative sales of 8.8 .8 million and uh, cumulative profit uh, 2.5 million. Now we could draw these points on our graph. Let's start with uh, point number 1. Cumulative sales are 2,200,000 and cumulative profit is uh, 560,000 and that will give us point number one and we can connect uh, the zero point here with, uh, con uh, with point one and we get the uh, first part of that line. So we have done the point number one and now we need to draw this point number two. Our cumulative sales are 5720 so this is going to be three, four, five thousand seven hundred and twenty is going to be here, and uh, cumulative profit is uh, one thousand uh, seven hundred ninety two, and that gives me point two, and we connect the line now. The last point is point number three, and that should be on that red line. Your final graph should look like this. In part D you should comment on your findings. You could start with uh, commenting on uh, point uh, zero when you have uh, zero sales and uh, you will have fixed costs which will equal your uh, total loss of uh, 640,000. If you sold a constant mix you would reach a break-even point of uh, 1,790,000. And uh, if you could uh, start to sell more profitable product uh, 
C first, uh, which has a uh, contribution to sales ratio of 55%, you would uh, reach break-even point sooner. That is because each uh, dollar of sales generates 55 cents, uh, which is more than a contribution to sales ratio of uh, constant mix, which is only 35 cents per each dollar of sales.